It is Thursday morning, the 15th, I believe, and I'm headed back up again. Definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Let's go. Just barely getting light. There's two bucks right there, the one on the right. You can barely see, but he's pretty nice. I saw these ones the other day, too. I might walk up here and see if I can get 70 yards. They're having none of it. They're right above the ledges. Barely see them moving. That's this morning's right there on the trail. It rained all night last night, so nice and fresh. Headed right up. Do not want him going out of this bottom. But he's getting him. Bull's an absolute stud. And goodbye to you too, buddy. Hopefully I see you soon. Here's a couple of trail cam pictures of the bull that's up on the hill that I was looking at. Right after I saw that big bull, I got to my stand and when I went to climb up, this young bull came in and I decided to pass him up. We might just have ourselves some action. So this young bull ended up coming in multiple times. He spent about 45 minutes by me, but he had come to about 60 yards, and I told myself if he came within 20, I'd shoot him. Other than that, I'd just pass him up. Been hiking around, looking for rubs. Man, I'll tell you what. Can't wait to find the one that made that. Woo. Big old bull. Here we go. It's raining on us, and we're trying to find a bull. Try. That's the key word. Oh, it stopped raining. And the wind's gonna oh, blow. The wind's cold. <laughs> Derek and I sat tree stands Monday and Tuesday. We had hunters all around us. Made us mad on Wednesday when they came in all over us. So we went and tried calling Wednesday night instead of sitting in the tree stands. And Wednesday night, a really big bull came into the tree stand Derek would have been at. This is the bull that walked by the tree stand that Derek would have been in if we'd stayed in our tree stands. So that sucks. Anyway, so tonight we're going to try to go chase them again. Um, bunch of bulls were bugling right up here last night and right at dark. Um, we couldn't get to them in time. Anyway, we listened to them for a little bit after dark. And 
My wife's gonna be coming too. She's teaching school. As soon as school gets done, she's gonna head up here and we'll meet her and head up for a little evening hunt. Jared is here and Jared's sitting on the tree stand that the bull came in on the other night. So he heard some bugles this morning. He's hoping they come in. You made it. They sagging a little. <laughs> We'll see you in a little bit. Moving my tree stand to here. All right, quick video here. Um, there's the tree I've been sitting in and the tree stand is all on the ground here. We found the spot yesterday. Um, we've sat this one quite a bit. Very little action. Uh, found a spot yesterday that I'm moving this tree stand to. All right, quick video. We are, it's Monday morning, um, the 26th. We're down to crunch time. Derek is heading into his stand. He's heading into our, what we call our headwater stand. And I'm heading into our new stand that my wife and I, oh, excuse me, we moved a stand the other day. It's crunch time. I moved the stand, hoping it works out well. Hoping Derek has something today. Cross fingers, let's go. Sorry, I didn't do an update. Today's Tuesday the 27th, and I'm back at the water hole. Nothing's came in yet. It's already in the afternoon. If only the deer and elk need a drink like he did. Ran into a group of elk on my way out that night. You can see their eyes there. Okay, so it's September 28th, and uh, I got a doe and a fawn that just came in. I bumped them. I need to put a little tarp here behind, or some camo behind me, because anything coming from this side can see me move at all. And I just kind of moved my arm, and it happened to be just right here behind me. I didn't even know it. Anyway, it bumped and went over here, but then the radio came on. And Derek just called me and uh, he stuck a bowl. <laughs> and so, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Anyway, um, he said he did think he hit a little bit far back. So it's been an hour and a half from now. Anyway, I'm gonna make my way to the bottom and uh, meet him. And then we're gonna go around from the top. Yeah! All right, I'm almost back to the car. Gonna go meet Derek. We got the plan in place of how to go start tracking this bull. And I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It's been a lot of hours of sitting in those stands. But hopefully it just paid off. So Derek was sitting in that tree stand right there. And the bull is standing right here. Right there, we've got a trail camera on that tree. It was right in front of that camera. Shot and he came through right here. Right up there. So we're gonna start and it's been three and a half hours. We're gonna kinda see what, what took place. So it wasn't looking too promising as far as sign. Derek and I are coming. He heard a big crash right up here. And if you look down there, bull's laying right there. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, he's a pretty good bull. We'll take him. We will take him.
<laughs> a little farther back than I thought, huh? It's further back, but it's angled forward. Oh, man. I, he jumped the string on him. I'm glad I hit something Went good. forward. Me too, because there was not much blood. There was no blood. Look at the fronts yeah. on that thing. Those things are nice. He looks heavy. He does. He was, he's he's he, got good mass. When he was standing there, I was like, oh, he looks heavy. <laughs> it's not super wide. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, he's he's a good bull. <laughs> Ooh, six point. <laughs> you gotta get it behind him and pick him up for a sec. Rig and Mortis is set in. We didn't know. He knew it was angled forward, but. <laughs> Did you get pictures? Yeah. Stay there. I gotta get a few more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, I'm sure there was blood back there. I'm just glad we didn't have to follow it. Oh, what a toad. Yeah! <laughs> all right. You do all the work, and I'll just video. <laughs> Each of us got a quarter and all the, the front quarter with a back strap and all the loose meat, the rib cage and the brisket and neck meat. And and our victorious candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, flies are coming out, so we're trying to boogie and those are the hind quarters left. We'll come back for the hind quarters and then we got the carcass here with the head still on it. We'll get a saw and get the horns off and anyway congrats Derek thanks <laughs> I'm excited love it <laughs> we shot I shot a five a five by five mule deer yeah at the top at the top of the tallest mountain that we could see from our house <laughs> in Wyoming and he shot a little uh, Maybe it's a little, it's a little four point. We dragged those suckers all the way down the bottom until we couldn't drag them anymore. And then, and then we cut the meat off and threw them in a bag. <laughs> Watching my uncle get up it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. My uncle Michael, I'll have to remind him of that. Okay, so then now the big question: How close was he at that time to the same age as you are now? <laughs> uh, I just hope I don't end up in those trees. <laughs> don't come up too fast. Holy crap, that's heavy! <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy crap! Oh. <laughs> that's heavy. Well, I already know that this needs to be tighter. <laughs> That is heavy. Wow. I think the easiest way is this way. I hope I don't break some. <laughs> or downhill about oh, three fourths of a mile. Okay. It's not a horrible pack out, but it's this gonna. Pack, this is the Metcalf pack. This is like $400 pack. I'm gonna see if it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> if I fall down and break something, I'm writing. Writing them a letter? Yeah. So we're almost back in for the bull. We're dying. I'm dead. <laughs> That's, he's only about 80 yards up above us. Oh. I thought the fall over right here. Derek's super excited to pack him out. Mm. I am. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna stand up. It's a good day. Another quarter was the heaviest thing I've ever carried. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
All right, we got the rest of the elk. Derek's got the head and the hind quarter, and I got a hind quarter. And down we go. Fall down while you're recording. <laughs> a punched tag on September 28th. <laughs> we'll take it. How many elk did you see this year, Derek? <laughs> he saw one elk in a week and a half of hunting and he got him. <laughs> I was feeling pretty bad last night been a rough season so far for Derek and so he just uh changed that 10 deer <laughs> one elk I had deer walked right under the tree stand five yards away walked up on a two-point buck it was bad 15 yards away it was better had several more come underneath the stand None of them were as cool as this, though. <laughs> Didn't get the heart beating the same? Oh, my gosh, no. Oh, I saw him, and I was just, holy crap. <laughs> oh. I almost forgot to pick up my bow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost there. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of elk steak on the Barbie tonight. Yeah. See what it tastes like. Thank you. Well, it's the last few minutes of the last day. It poured rain for like an hour and a half. We came out and we tried hard. Um... But we haven't been able to get anything to respond to anything. But congratulations to Jared on his bear and Derek on his bull. And we will be back and better than ever in 2023. Thanks for following along.